Okay, let's be honest. The country is completely divided going into the November election, and we want to call that out. Republicans and the Trump campaign are focusing on the, quote, law and order issue. The show? The reruns? Bum, bum. Wasn't that a great show? It was. Jerry Orbach. Ugh. Dick Wolf. Okay. But a new Reuters poll shows 78% of Americans are actually more concerned about the coronavirus. Just 8% see crime as the top priority. So, DBL Nation, we go to you. We want to take your temperature. What's the biggest issue this election? Is it crime or is it the pandemic? Now, before we share your comments, we want you to go to dblvote.com to weigh in. We're going to share the results of that poll later in the segment, so make sure you get there and keep watching. Now to your comments. I'm going to get their takes. Lindsay and Al, first up, it is Lindsay's. Clara from Facebook, Lindsay says, my husband has put his life on the line as a police officer for over 20 years. If you think I'm going to make law enforcement anything but a priority, think again. And that's understandable. I have an uncle that's in the police force in New York. I mean, one of the most dangerous places to be in the police force, especially when you talk about the volume of people. Um, but I also think that, it, for me, if somebody doesn't put the fact that black lives need to be saved on their ticket and actually have some actual things, like I've been saying, that are going to show us how you're going to dedicate time to this community that's been suffering for so long, that, to me, is the number one issue. Because I don't think there's a problem with police being attacked on a consistent basis, as often as we're seeing as a problem with black lives being attacked on a consistent basis. So if somebody doesn't make some grand statement about that, then I'm just really confused about what they're doing. Because aside from coronavirus, that is the biggest issue of 2020. Fair. That's a totally fair point. Al, this next one is for you. Teddy from Twitter says there's a reason the U.S has the highest infection and death rates of the whole world. His name is Trump. Yeah, I mean, look, however you feel about it, everybody wants to get back to some sort of sense of normalcy. And I think the hardest part is just like watching other countries start to slowly go back. And it doesn't seem like we're moving. We're still getting kind of spikes here and there. And then, you know, the CDC was taken over by other people. And now we're not getting numbers anymore. We're getting it seems, It just yeah, seems yeah. very weird. Yeah. So uh, I just think everybody wants normalcy to go so they can go back, get their kids in school, get back to work and get back to some kind of thing co called life because at this point it seems like a, there's no end in sight. Yeah, I agree with you. Next, Iris from Twitter says, it's absolutely infuriating that anyone in the right mind would choose to prioritize anything but the health and safety of Americans. I've lost someone to COVID-19 and I blame this administration. Lindsay, what do you have to say quick on this one? Oh, COVID is serious. I think people need to, our, our response has been largely sloppy. I think that we need to figure it out. We can't go into this winter and flu season with more people dying and then an uptick once again. And so I think that, yes, we need to protect people. I lost people um, from COVID, and I think that it's a serious matter. And as we get more laxed and casual moving around and not wearing masks, we have to take it seriously, which is why we just said, Nancy Pelosi, wear that mask yeah. because you are leading our country, and we need to look at you and see somebody who's taking it seriously and really enacting things to save our lives. Totally well said. We're 4% of the world's population. We have 25% of the deaths of coronavirus. Let's take a look at our poll results. We have 84% of you saying the pandemic is what worries you, about 16% for crime. Thank you for writing in. Always do so. Coming up on DBL, meet a man who's proving it's never too late to be yourself. This is one of my.